Hey everybody, welcome to your project this week, which is the artist trading cards. We're going to take the information that we learned about the elements of art and the principles of art and we're going to kind of condense that and show me that you have an understanding of that by be by creating smaller unified works of art that reflect on some of those different elements and principles of art. I think it first helps just to tell you a story of where this project came from. So let's walk back here and uh, I want to just talk about this artwork specifically. So this artwork uh, comes about from me walking around in Paris and there's this museum called the Louvre in Paris and I, it's a museum that maybe if you had three to five days you could really appreciate it uh, to like make it through and actually walk through the whole museum. It's got the triangle thing, it's in a bunch of museum or er, movies. But this museum's got, you know, the Mona Lisa, it's got so many different impressive works, the Nike of San Lotrace. And, um, and I had like three hours. The, the tour guide was like, yeah, we got three hours. So I didn't, I knew there was no way that I would get a chance to make it through all the things I wanted to see. So I thought I'll just get lost. And I wandered in while I was lost um, to a room that was dimly lit. And there was only these little glowing squares that were no bigger than a postage stamp or about the size of this eraser. So these little cutouts in this wood paneling in this dark room that were glowing. And a magnifying glass, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I grabbed the magnifying glass and I went over and I saw this work of art. And after going and seeing the Mona Lisa and all these massive, incredible artworks that were large in scale, you know, some of my favorite things that I saw that day were these tiny little self-portraits by Rembrandt. And when he made these, he etched them into a little plate and it was no bigger than the actual finished work. But it reminded me that small things can be powerful. So then I thought for my students, I always want to push them to go bigger and try new things. But maybe the smaller the scale, the freedom that comes with that because let's say you do screw up on something this big, well then you can keep going and I love the idea of learning through failures. So then I thought, let's do this artist trading cards project and I found this community of people that make these trading cards that are then able to trade them with each other and give them away and there's a freedom and a generosity to it that I really enjoy. So let's look through kind of this idea and the idea is like a baseball card, like a Pokemon card that my son totally enjoys, um, or a football card. Um, yeah, those, those kind of cards is about the scale is what we're talking about. So just cutting a piece of paper now, I just cut up two random pieces as an example. Just, um, it could be cardstock, it could be literally anything, but this is about the size, and you can say these are even not even totally even, so you could just, you know, about two and a half by three and a half inches, but if it's not exact, that's okay. Um, next up, just the idea of unified. So we study these elements and principles of art, and I want you to think about one or two that kind of work together really well that you want to focus on for this project. And then having that unify your project. So it could be color is the thing that's going to unify your, your project. Everything's black and white except the color yellow. And you have three different cards that emphasize that color yellow. Or maybe there's a collaged element and this texture that um, lives in the background. And then the collaged element is a pattern that lives on top of it. And that unifies everything. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Maybe there's a line or a shape. Um, the rhythm and the emphasis, all these things could be possibilities for how you unify them. But just realizing that that's going to be basically the idea. Um, here are some visual examples that you'll see in the presentation. And these examples, again, are just giving you clues. You can see the one uh, here. So this is an example of one that is collaged. So maybe you have a magazine and I just literally grabbed the first two things I saw here and I was looking at this page and I thought, you know what would be kind of cool is if in the collage card, if it had this little life is special um, thing that's on the page. So I thought, well, I'll just cut that out and life is special in a lot of ways. Um, so again, now that was on an old magazine that literally is an advertisement for cigarettes. So I don't think that cigarettes make your life special, but I do think that life is special. So grabbing things and reorganizing um, them to 
be a part of your artwork and the story you want to tell. And maybe that's going to then go on, um, I don't know, a newspaper like kind of texture. And then all of a sudden, you know, because the newspaper texture is black and white and this life special stands out. So these are the ways that you can use collage. But I'm going to suggest that you try that and maybe you try using colored pencil or paint. Um, on the smaller scale, you can really explore pretty freely and see what you have around you to create these collage cards. Uh, here's some more student examples. So this is one again where we have some collage in the background and then they drew in their sketchbook and cut it out. Um, and then it has this theme that unifies them, which is not only the style of the work and the animals, but also the words grab life by the beans. I don't know, some student made it. Uh, and then we have some other student examples, which are these, which are almost all collage. Uh, and then this one has no collage element, but you can see them exploring uh, the watercolors with cutting out paper in a unique way and more of an organizedness um, to the chaos of the collage. Uh, here we go with some more student examples. So this one's kind of fun. So this, they have no collaged elements that they're adding, but they're using their sketchbook to, you know, make things, try them out and then cut them out and bring it into the artwork, which is a good idea always. Um, and then again here we have like a combination of drawn elements and then some collage things. And they are unified in what they are, but they don't necessarily all, like each card can stand, its, stand alone. Um, this was a, another good example that I really enjoyed. And I'm curious to see what you come up with. Um, the creative freedom is, is totally in your playbook. You as the artist gets to choose what you're gonna do. And again, choosing an element and principle of art to focus on and then having um, how it turns out be a kind of creative exploration. Let me know if there's any questions you have. Could I do this? Could I do that? Usually I'm just gonna say, yeah, go for it. Um, I'm excited to see how that will go. And I'm excited for your collage cards to be something that maybe you have an opportunity to uh, give, the gift of, or, or trade, or I don't know, yeah, connect and trade them. That'd be fun. All right, have a good day.